MicroStation by default allows the user to attach uh, point clouds or civil tools, then can um, create terrains from these point clouds. However, what if the area that you have falls at the intersection of multiple tiles of point clouds? Do you really need to use a full quadrangle of point cloud data within your terrain? Even with the filter, this could become very sizable. So the base tools in MicroStation allow for the exporting of point clouds. So we can export any selected cloud. So if we select multiple tiles, they'll all select into one POD file. We can change the um, classifications on some of these. So if all we want to export out is uh, bare earth, for example, we can export a new point cloud that would contain just bare earth to create our terrain model. Again, this doesn't answer our question or resolve our problem of not needing the entire extent of all available cloud. So what we need is to use our Descartes program to give us this functionality. So in Select Series 3 Refresh, Bentley's going to, uh, under Tools, give us the option to activate Descartes. So even if you're not currently licensed to run Descartes, you'll be able to open Descartes. This product enhances the functionality of your civil application. And however, using Descartes will log additional usage and may result in an incremental cost. At this point, the user has the option to close out or to continue. So we're going to load Descartes. You'll notice with Descartes loaded, when we open up our point clouds now, and we'll highlight multiple clouds, we'll place a fence around an area of interest. And now when we come into export, we'll see we now have a region filter. We can now call up our fence and say, OK. We'll call this our fenced area pod. By default, the pod file we create is not loaded. So we'll detach our current points and we'll attach our fenced area pod. Notice now we have a combined pod for the area that we need. We can now create our surface from the reduced size point cloud for working with our civil application.